one thing, excuse me. Hi guys, it's us again. Hey Abby's. So one of our viewers wrote in and asked us what annoys us about each other. And you know us at all, you know we're very easily irritated by each other. Yeah. But in like a loving way. Pretty much everything I do annoys her and vice versa. Um, so we can't show you everything, but we thought we'd catch each other in the act and show you a few of the things that we find the most annoying. One thing that really annoys me about Laura is that we live in a tiny apartment and we have to share a bathroom. But there's never any room for me and she never moves over. So now I have to get ready in the bedroom in the full length mirror. I do my makeup there. I do everything there. Because you're not a good sharer. Is there any room for me in here? There's always room for you in here. Yeah, there's not though, because look, you have your makeup over there, your brush is over there, you always stand perfectly in the middle. <laughs> and where do you want me to go? Right there. Well, something I find annoying about Samantha is that she does not wake up, but the dogs will bark their heads off in the morning before we're ready to get up because they decided it's breakfast time and she will sleep right through it. And I have to get up and deal with them every single morning. The dogs wake up early and they bark and bark and bark and bark for our breakfast. And Sam sleeps right through the whole thing. I mean, I do it sometimes. Once in a while when I just lay there and I'm like, nope, not moving. Sam sometimes does weird things in the kitchen and God forbid I try to give her some guidance. She freaks out about it. Dinner time? I don't want you to be in the kitchen. Are you trying to boil that without a cover? Yeah. No! I don't need you in here. Just, it boils a lot faster if you cover it up. Well, then you know what? You can make dinner every night for the rest of our lives. So, I promise you it's going to taste delicious with the top on or the top off. Is there something I can do to help you? No. I would like you to go away. If you're going to cook your spouse a meal, they should be appreciative of it, and if it tastes good, it doesn't matter how it's prepared. Okay, like, how many times do I have to tell her that if you want to boil water, put a lid on the pot. If you're trying to cook chicken, don't put it on high heat, go a little lower and slow down. If you're frying something, oh my god, she never uses the splatter screen in the kitchen, just is covered in grease. So I'd like to give her some tips. So we hope you enjoyed some of our bickering and the things that annoy us about each other. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. You're just the cutest! You can tell us what annoys you about your spouse, or maybe what you know for a fact annoys them about you. We'd love to hear if it's some of the same stuff that bothers us. So, leave comments. And tune in next Thursday, we have a fun one for you. Thanks for watching.